Shemot, the beginning of the book of Exodus, the transition from family to nation. In the beginning of the Torah, in fact, where we just left off, this the story is about a family dynamic, the family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now, as we enter into the second book of the Torah, the book of Exodus, it becomes more about the community. People, individual personalities, are still important. And the most important of these personalities going forward is Moses. And we are introduced to the life of Moses right here in the story of Shmot. Moses' life begins with him facing many challenges. The first is that Pharaoh has decreed that all male children should be killed by drowning them in the, in the river. And so he is saved from that by Miriam and then put into the river. The, the river that was supposed to kill him actually saves him and he is rescued by one of Pharaoh's daughters, Bacha, who raises him as a prince of Egypt where he learns, begins to learn about leadership. Eventually, he s sees injustice in Egyptian society and kills an Egyptian who was unfairly treating a Jew and has to flee from Egypt. Uh, after fleeing, he first meets Jethro and his family and becomes a shepherd. It is at this point that he is brought to the mountain and sees the burning bush, a bush that was not consumed. This conversation uh, that happens between God and Moses at the burning bush. There are many different parts to the conversation, but the most interesting is a part of the conversation where Moses and God are speaking about what Moses should do, and he begs God to give the task to someone else because of his speech impediment. God responds that he knows that Moses has difficulty speaking, that he knows that Moses um, that has a heavy tongue, and that, that he, in fact, God, is the person that makes people have difficulty speaking or difficulty hearing or difficulty seeing. One would think that at this point, if this speech was really a problem, God would solve the problem by eliminating Moses' speech impediment, but instead he encourages Moses to reach out to his brother Aaron, and together Aaron and Moses will go to Pharaoh to do God's bidding. And this is the beginning of the concept of using other people and a communal approach to overcoming the challenges that the Jewish people will face as they move throughout the biblical story.